Hey guys, this is Pam. I'm so sorry for such a late video today. Today is April the 13th, the 55th day of our Bible reading plan challenge. Hold on one second. Yeah, of course I'm about to kick him out. Hey, 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 hey. Hush. Are oh, you getting out? Wanna go out? Two seconds. Hush. I'm gonna take you out the room. Lay down. Alright guys, they're sleepy, they're so sleepy, they're crying, but today, it, uh, today has just been really, really hectic, and I got back home late from a Seder dinner, which is a Passover dinner and everything, um, but, whew, today in the book of Jeremiah, we're, we're completely in the book of Jeremiah and everything, and God goes through, and he, he's talking to Jeremiah about his people, and how they're being stiff-necked, and hard-headed, and just all this kind of crazy stuff, and so what God said, he said, you know what, Jeremiah, he said, I want you to go get a, lo a, a loincloth. And if you guys don't know what loincloths are, they're underwear. They're drawers. You know, so he said, go get a loincloth and put it on. He went and got a loincloth. He put it on. And God told him, he said, all right. And at the period of time, he told him, take it off and don't wash it. And I want you to take it to this particular place and hide it in a rock. You know, so he followed directions. He took it left it in the rock and now another period of time passed God sent him back he said alright now I want you to go back and get that he went back and got it when he pulled the drawers out of the rock they were all they 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 were holy they 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 were just totally rags they were good for nothing and God began to explain that he said uh uh get back he said this is my people he said they're pretty much good for nothing now you know um he said they should cling to me like your draws cling to your waist but my people don't do that they're constantly turning away from me they're constantly committing adultery they're they're falling in love with other lovers i mean they're committing all kind of abominations and just totally spitting in my face acting like i ain't even here like they never even knew me so god said i'm going to deal with you and he told him how he was going to deal with him and you know, God just had to begin to lay it down because his people just weren't listening. They just weren't getting it. And then, you guys, everybody has heard the favorite verse. We hear it a lot in churches and everything about Jeremiah having a fire shut up in his bones and everything. And yes, we read over that portion of the scripture today. Sit back. Sit back. And Jeremiah said, I am weary from holding this word inside of me. He said, I just can't hold it anymore. Because he had started... Um, getting a little I ain't gonna say depressed or whatever but it, it was really getting to him because I mean he was whipped for speaking the truth of God's word I'm gonna put you out of here I said stop it he he got he got whipped he got thrown in jail for speaking the truth of God's word that was plotting to kill him and Jeremiah sat there and he just kind of threw a pity party for a second he said Lord I should have just died in my mother's belly he said curse the day that I was born he said I have nothing but troubles ever since I have been born. You know, for speaking for speaking your word, for speaking the truth of your word, I'm getting death threats and everybody no no nobody's even a band anyway. So what's the point really? I said leave it alone. So what's the point really of even saying it? You know, I mean God God knew they weren't gonna listen. God had even got to a point he said, you know what, don't even pray for the people because they're not gonna listen. You know, so I mean, but he had to continue to be obedient to God. He said it's it's in me. He said, I cannot do anything else. You know, he said the the word of God in me it propels me on, it pushes me on to do this. There, there's nothing I can do to stop the word of the Lord from coming out of me. Stop it. And so that was pretty much it in a nutshell today, guys. Um, so congratulations if you did your reading today. And like I said, I'm so sorry. I got to you so late. Just, man, the day is, is it's really been an awesome day. You know, preparing for Passover and everything. And it's not so much celebrating a tradition. Um, what it really is, it's remembering what Yeshua did for us. And Passover kind of symbolizes that, you know, him going to the cross and everything. But that's like a whole, a whole nother teaching and, and something that should just be taught like by itself. I, I wouldn't even have time 
to explain it all here my video will probably be too long but it's amazing how you begin to make the connections and then when you think about the sacrifice yeah, that Yeshua, hush, when you think about the sacrifice that Yeshua made for us by seeing the actual tangible picture and experience in the Passover it just I, I, I can't even begin to explain it you actually can put <laughs> I mean you actually have a tangible picture to look at and the experience and you can actually just like line up you you I mean you really begin to get a actual visual and I, I can't even explain to you the 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 overwhelming feeling of, of greatness and honor and thankfulness you know as we were going through the Seder dinner I mean with each and every part of the the exodus and the plagues and everything led up to Passover and I mean the crucifixion how it all goes together and I mean I, it is just amazing guys um hopefully i can get a copy of it and i'll post it um on my page so you guys can actually watch it you know so but i love you guys if you if you have a chance to um celebrate a seder dinner i i really encourage you to do so because it'll bring so much more clarity to your walk with god and to the experience of yeshua jesus christ in your life and him being lord and savior and the power of what he did every single thing that he did step by step it meant something you know and it just it it, it gives you a deeper revelation of him being your savior and, and what he really did for us and what he has done in our life you know so I, I really love you guys thanks for keeping up with the reading um leave a comment if you like and um i'll see you guys tomorrow